entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. Suspense. Must sell ranch immediately. Will sacrifice for twenty thousand dollars cash. Colonel W. H. Granger, Diablo. That ad's covered about every paper in the West. It's time we started getting results. Your bow, Penny. Oh, hi, Colonel. Morning, Tag. Gee, you haven't sold the ranch, have you? Haven't had an offer yet. Daddy's just seeing how he'll look when we get to Washington. Maybe we won't be able to sell. Don't want to. But when the Army calls a man back to active duty, there's not much time for ranching. Gosh, Colonel, I wish you didn't have to leave Diablo. You mean you wish Penny didn't have to leave? Oh, Colonel. <laughs> I couldn't run the ranch by myself, Tank. Now, how would you like to help me pick some black dirt? Hey, that'd be swell. Have you seen Tag, Lofty? Hey, he's out of Granger's, mooning around Penny, as usual. <laughs> well, a telegram came for the Colonel. I think I'll take it out to him. That's a good idea. If you're anxious to sell, it might be an offer. Climb down under there and reach for some sky. Hurry up. I haven't anything worth taking. Uh, look what we got us, boys. A real live dude. Get the Wells Fargo box. I ain't carrying any Wells Fargo box this trip. Huh? We've got something better than the box. A whole slew of thousand dollar bills. <laughs> so you had nothing worth taking, huh? <coughs> on that rise. Uh, we got company. Let's get going. Only a girl. That's not only a girl. That's Annie Oakley. Let's move. Now ride, now shoot those riding men. Maybe I'd better help her. Cover your getaway. We don't need cover. We're bushwhacker when she rides through. A woman? Not if you want me to stick with you. Get going. I'll handle it. Let's go.
you don't seem to be wounded. No. Those men shot at me. I'm afraid I just lost my balance. Well, from the looks of your clothes, you seem to be a... Tenderfoot. Yes, I'm from Boston. I'm Earl Wallace, Miss Oakley. The driver told me who you are. Oh, well, those outlaws gave you kind of a rough welcome. Did they get away with anything? Quite a sum. $20,000 in cash. $20,000? That's a lot of money to be carrying around. I know, but I'd intended to buy a ranch that's for sale. Colonel Granger's? Oh, did you wire him you were coming? No, I didn't. Why? Well, a telegram came for him today, and I was just going to take it over to him. Maybe an offer from someone else. Yes, it probably is. I was going to town to the hotel, but if there's another offer, I'd better see the Colonel first. But your money's been stolen. I could wire the bank for more. I suppose I could use that horse and ride with you. Well, I can't go out to the Granger's place now, Mr. Wallace. You see, even though those men are out of reach, I still have to report the robbery to the deputy sheriff. And with enough luck, we might get your money back. I'm heartily in favor of that. But I'd still like to talk to Colonel Granger. Oh, his place isn't hard to find. It's just over the ridge. Oh, but the telegram. Well, I'll deliver it for you. I promise not to peek. <laughs> well, thank you, and good luck. Well, let's say better luck. Not even tell who he is. Where's the dude? He went on over to Granger's. Well, I found this gun out there. It used to belong to this hombre until the dude snatched it and took after the others. He sure tried, even if he didn't catch nothing. I wonder how I could forget a gun. Probably didn't know anything about shooting irons. Representative Onway prepared to close immediate deal for your ranch, signed the Southwest Land Company. It's another offer, all right, Mr. Wallace. Sounds as if you could make your cash deal with them. But, Daddy. Yes? I think if Mr. Wallace still wants the ranch, that he should have first choice at it, after all he's been through. I was about to say the same thing. If anybody buys the ranch, I hope you do, Mr. Wallace. Thank you, Miss Granger, and you too, Tag. But I wouldn't want to spoil a sure sale for you, Colonel. Don't worry about that. The fellow isn't here yet. Why don't you stay and have supper with us and we can talk this over? Well, I should get into town and send a telegram. Couldn't that wait? At least till after supper. Well, it's settled then. And you'll stay too, won't you, Tag? Well, I'd sure like to, but I promised Annie I'd be home early. Well, I better be going now, I guess. All right, Tag. I'll see you off. So will I. Then maybe you'll show me around the place a bit, Miss Granger. No identification on body of man in robbery. Say, hey, Annie, what sort of an hombre is this dude? Oh, he's easy to like. Look, this gun's been fired twice. Shouldn't it be? Well, I only heard two shots when Mr. Wallace said the outlaws fired at him. You don't think this Wallace lied to you, do you? Not for any reason I can think of. It just seems funny. Annie, do you know what I think? I haven't kept up on my mind reading lessons, Tag. Penny Granger likes that Mr. Wallace, and I do too. And I think he'll buy the ranch if the other man doesn't. What other man? The telegram said there was one on his way. Well, there are bound to be others. Everybody in west of the Mississippi's read the Colonel's ad by now. And Lofty, those road agents must have read that ad, too. Yeah, they can probably read. <laughs> what of it? Oh, that's just why they're here. Hanging around to rob anybody that has the cash to buy the ranch, like Mr. Wallace. Yeah, that's an idea. What stage is the other man coming in on, Tay? Well, telegram didn't say anything about his stage. Just said he was on his way. That opens up a guessing contest. 
Not necessarily. Not if we get out first thing in the morning and pick up the outlaw's trail. Yeah. I can't thank you enough, Penny. It's been a long time since I've had an evening like this. I'm afraid it was very simple and quiet. It's very nice to be very simple and quiet. With someone you like. Thank you. Your horse is all ready to go, Earl. Now, you be sure and come back tomorrow. Yes, sir. I'll show you the rest of the ranch, and if you like it, we can come to terms. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night, Penny. Good night. Nice a young fellow as I've ever met. Yes, he's very pleasant. Very pleasant. <laughs> you could have seen the way you two looked at each other. <laughs> well, you could go farther and do worse. Daddy, you're just jumping to conclusions. <laughs> long enough at the Granges. I couldn't get away before. Well, what's up? I found out what we're after. There's a buyer on his way with the money. When? Right away, I guess. Probably tomorrow. What's the matter with you all of a sudden? Not a thing, Link. That's all I know. Except he's from the Southwest Land Company. All right. Me and the boys will keep an eye on the roads tomorrow. You better stay at the Granger place, so if we miss that buyer, you can spot him for us. All right. Something eating you, Earl? Getting cold feet, maybe? That's the last thing you need to worry about. I better get to that hotel now. Earl, I know how it is on a man's first job. He gets nervous, but that'll pass. Just remember, you're broke, and you're going to be cut in on $20,000. I'm not likely to forget. So long. I guess we're lucky we met up with him. He sure looks like a dude, doesn't he? Oh, well, why not? He was one up to a couple of years ago. Morning, Mr. Wallace. Are you going to the Grangers? Yes. Just waiting for them to bring my horse out. Oh. You know, I'm just thinking about Miss Penny. She doesn't want to leave that ranch. Well, if she got married, she wouldn't have to. No, she wouldn't. I'd marry myself if I were old enough. About as old... About as old as you are. She'd make any man a wonderful wife, Tang. If he were worthy of her. She sure would. I will. Super Wallace said they shot at him. Said? You sound suspicious. No, but I didn't see it. I'm still wondering about those two shots. Well, it's going to be tough to follow tracks through here. Even if we knew which one to follow. Well, all we can do is hope and be lucky. Me. Yeah, sure looks likely. I'll ride down. You see me draw my gun, you come on. Hey. I'm Colonel Granger's foreman. Looking for a fellow from the Southwest Land Company. I guess that's me. Ah. In that case, you better be calm and hand me that bag,
Mr. Boyce, Lofty from the land company. Howdy. Howdy. Well, this Jasper isn't going to do us much good. He's not cold. Looks like he's going to stay that way a while, too. You better go after the others, sir. They got more than 20,000 from me. That's getting to be a fairly common complaint around here, mister. Well, you'd better get that man into town, Lofty, and I'll see if I can pick up a trail. All right. I'll be back as quick as I can. You want to give me a hand? Yes, sir. Looks like Luke might be dead. Yeah, it could be. If he ain't, it's only a question of time before they make him talk. We'd better be moving. And yeah, not without Earl. We need him. Look how smooth everything works. There'll be lots more ranches for sale in other places. Come on. began to wonder if you were coming. I'm sorry I'm late. I had a lot of things to think over. Isn't your father here? He went out to help the hands round up some stock he wants you to look at. Something the matter, Earl? Not exactly. I'd like to talk to you, Penny. Of course. I want to tell you something and ask your opinion. It's about a fellow, a friend of mine. He had a fairly good inheritance and He'd always wanted to be a rancher, so he came out west. But, well, he was irresponsible. He squandered all of his money. When he was broke, he was offered a chance to make some more. Dishonestly. Did he, did he take that chance? Not yet. Do you think a fellow like that could... Could what? Could get people to trust him and to like him if he saw his mistake before it was too late? Of course, in time. I hoped you'd say that. Earl, what is it? Can't you tell me? Not now, Penny. I will someday. Tell your father I'm sorry, but I can't buy his ranch. Goodbye. Beautiful sight to see. Never seen nothing prettier. <laughs> it's a dude. How'd he get here so quick? Now, what's the difference? He sure earned his cut. Hoped I'd find you here, Link. I rode out to tell you I'm through. <laughs> what do you mean you're through? Count me out, and I want you to lay off that buyer that's coming. Well, your feet must have got good and cold, dude. Here. Let me show you something to warm them up. We've already done it. Yeah, we sure have. Now, you simmer down. We're almost out of the state, and your cut's going to be a third instead of a fifth. I told you I'm through. I don't want that money. Link, he's fixing to double-cross us. I'm not double-crossing you, nor anyone else. When you made me this proposition, Link, I thought I could do it. I found out I can't. What changed your mind? I'm just not built right to get money this way. I thought you were smart. So you want to walk out on us, huh? Away you're going to walk, too. It's too late, dude. You're in this up to your neck. I'll take my chances. Chances? What chances? The law's got loot. If he starts talking, he ain't going to forget how you helped frame the holdup. And who's going to believe you if you go around crying that you've changed your mind? It's that Granger girl. She's headed here. Now I'm beginning to understand why you got cold feet. Hold it. Annie! Annie Oakley's with her. Penny, what in the world are you doing around here? Those outlaws are around here somewhere. Earl's in some kind of trouble, Annie. I followed him here. His horse is down there with those others. Let's take cover behind these rocks.
get out. It's worse than trouble for Earl Penny. Looks like he's in with those outlaws. Those are their horses. Annie, he said something that might explain it. I've been wondering about Earl for quite some time, and this sure looks bad for him. I think he was in with the outlaws, but he tried to quit. That doesn't look like he's quitting. Oh, I'm sorry, Penny. Lofty will be along in a few minutes, and we'll see what it's all about. Annie Oakley up there, there's no sense making a run for it. She'd pick us off like sitting ducks in a shooting gallery. What are we going to do, stay and wait for the sheriff? No, you keep your eye on this and the dude. I'll sneak out back and get rid of Annie. Once she's out of the way, you bring up the horses. And what you do with the dude is your business. And whatever he did, Annie, I'm sure he meant to change. I hope so, Penny. You know, if they saw me, they won't come out the front door. And yet they won't go out the back door and leave their horses. Funny, ain't it? Annie Oakley's setting up her thing and she's got us all pinned down. And all the time, Link's moving in closer, fixing to pin her down for good. been a bit of a black sheep, but not black enough to go through with a robbery. Is that all there is to it, Earl? Isn't it enough? I'll be on my way. Don't be in such a hurry. Colonel and Lofty and I have had a little talk you might like to hear about. As far as the sheriff's office goes, you're in the clear. And you're in the clear as far as Daddy and I are concerned, too. What? Right. Only reason I wanted to sell the ranch is I couldn't find a reliable man to run it. Now I've found one. Reliable? Me? Please take the job, Mr. Wallace. Then Penny can stay. <laughs> Not so fast, Penny. But at least I can come back for a visit. I'll take it. 